Detroit Red Wings The Detroit Red Wings are a professional ice hockey team based in Detroit, Michigan. They are members of the Atlantic Division in the Eastern Conference of National Hockey League, NHL, and are one of the original six teams of the league. Founded in 1926, the team was known as the Detroit Cougars from then until 1930. For the 1930-31 and 1931-32 seasons the team was called the Detroit Falcons, and in 1932 changed their name to the Red Wings. The Red Wings have won the most Stanley Cup championships of any NHL franchise based in the United States, 11, and are third overall in total Stanley Cup championships, behind the Montreal Canadiens, 24, and Toronto Maple Leafs, 13. The Wings played their home games at Joe Louis Arena from 1979 until 2017, after playing for 52 years in Olympia Stadium. They moved into the new Little Caesars Arena beginning with the 2017-18 season. The Red Wings are one of the most popular, as well as one of the most successful, franchises in the NHL. Fans and commentators refer to the Detroit area as Hockey Town, which has been a registered trademark owned by the franchise since 1996. Between the 1931-32 and 1965-66 seasons, the Red Wings missed the playoffs only four times. Between the 1966-67 and 1982-83 seasons, the Red Wings made the playoffs only two times. However, thereafter, from 1983-84 to 2015-16, they made the playoffs 30 times in 32 seasons, including 25 straight from 1990-91 to 2015-16 not counting the cancelled 2004-05 season, at the time the longest streak of postseason appearances in a lot of North American professional sports. Since 1983-84, the Red Wings have tallied six regular season first-place finishes and have won the Stanley Cup four times 1997, 1998, 2002, and 2008. Following the 1926 Stanley Cup playoffs, during which the Western Hockey League, WHL, was widely reported to be on the verge of folding, the NHL held a meeting on April 17 to consider applications for expansion franchises at which it was reported that five different groups sought a team for Detroit. During a subsequent meeting on May 15, the league approved a franchise to the Townsend Seaburn Group of Detroit and named Charles A. Hughes as governor. Frank and Lester Patrick, the owners of the WHL, made a deal to sell the league's players to the NHL and cease league operations. The new Detroit franchise purchased the players of the WHL's Victoria Cougars, who had won the Stanley Cup in 1925 and had made the finals the previous winter, to play for the team. The new Detroit franchise also adopted the Cougars' nickname in honor of the folded franchise. Since no arena in Detroit was ready at the time, the Cougars played their first season at the Border Cities Arena in Windsor, Ontario. For the 1927-28 season, the Cougars moved into the new Detroit Olympia, which would be their home rink until December 15, 1979. This was also the first season behind the bench for Jack Adams who would be the face of the franchise for the next 36 years as either coach or general manager. The Cougars made the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in 1929 with Carson Cooper leading the team in scoring. The Cougars were outscored 7-2 in the two-game series with the Toronto Maple Leafs. In 1930, the Cougars were renamed the Falcons, but their woes continued, as they usually finished near the bottom of the standings, even though they made the playoffs again in 1932. In 1932, the NHL let grain merchant James E. Norris, who had made two previous unsuccessful bids to buy an NHL team, purchase the Falcons. Norris' first act was to choose a new name for the team, the Red Wings. Earlier in the century, Norris had been a member of the Montreal Amateur Athletic Association, a sporting club with cycling roots. The Ma'as teams were known by their club emblem and these winged wheelers were the first winners of the Stanley Cup in 1893. Norris decided that a version of their logo was perfect for a team playing in the Motor City and on October 5, 1932, the club was renamed Red Wings. Norris also placed coach Jack Adams on a one-year probation for the 1932-33 NHL season. Adams managed to pass his probationary period by leading the renamed franchise to its first-ever playoff series victory, over the Montreal Maroons. The team then lost in the semifinals to the New York Rangers. In 1934, the Red Wings made the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time, with John Sorrell scoring 21 goals over 47 games and Larry Ory leading the team in scoring. However, the Chicago Blackhawks defeated the Red Wings in the finals, winning the best of five series in four games to claim their first title. Two seasons later, 
the Red Wings won their first Stanley Cup in 1936, defeating Toronto in four games. Detroit repeated as Stanley Cup champions in 1937, winning over the Rangers in the full five games. In 1938, the Red Wings and the Montreal Canadiens became the first NHL teams to play in Europe, playing in Paris and London. The Wings played nine games against the Canadiens and went 3-5-1. They did not play in Europe again until the preseason and start of the 2009-10 NHL season, in Sweden, against the St. Louis Blues. The Red Wings made the Stanley Cup Finals in three consecutive years during the early 1940s. In 1941, they were swept by the Boston Bruins, and in 1942, they lost a seven-game series to Toronto after winning the first three games. However, in 1943, with Mud Brunetto and Sid Howe scoring 23 and 20 goals, respectively, Detroit won their third Stanley Cup by sweeping the Bruins. Through the rest of the decade, the team made the playoffs every year, and reached the finals three more times. In 1946, one of the greatest players in hockey history came into the NHL with the Red Wings. Gordie Howe, a right winger from Floral, Saskatchewan, only scored seven goals and 15 assists in his first season and would not reach his prime for a few more years. It was also the last season as head coach for Adams, who stepped down after the season to concentrate on his duties as general manager. He was succeeded by minor league coach Tommy Ivendot by his second season, how was paired with Sid Abel and Ted Lindsay to form what would become one of the great lines in NHL history, the production line. Lindsay's 33 goals propelled the Red Wings to the Stanley Cup Finals, where they were swept by the Maple Leafs. Detroit reached the finals again the following season, only to be swept again by Toronto. During the 1950 Stanley Cup semifinals, Leo Riza Jr. scored the winning goal in overtime, which prevented the Maple Leafs from winning four straight championships. In the finals, the Red Wings defeated the New York Rangers in seven games. In Game 7, Pete Babondo scored the game winner in double overtime. After the game, Lindsay skated around the Olympia ice with the Stanley Cup. After being upset by the Montreal Canadiens in the 1951 semifinals, Detroit won its fifth Stanley Cup, in 1952, sweeping both the Maple Leafs and the Canadiens, with the production line of how, Abel and Lindsay joined by second-year goaltender Terry Sochik. Detroit became the first team in 17 years to go undefeated in the playoffs. They also scored 24 playoff goals, compared to Toronto and Montreal's combined total of five. Abel left the Red Wings for Chicago during the offseason, and his spot on the roster was replaced by Alex Del Vecchio. In December 1952, James E. Norris died. He was succeeded as team president by his daughter, Marguerite, which made her the first woman to head an NHL franchise. Following another playoff upset in 1953 at the hands of the Bruins, the Red Wings won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups beating the rival powerhouse Montreal Canadiens. Both of the Stanley Cup finals played between the two teams were decided in seven games. The seventh game during the 1954 Stanley Cup finals was won with one of the oddest cup-winning goals ever, when the 5 feet 7 inches left winger Tony Elswick, known more for his relentless checking than scoring prowess, shot a puck towards the Montreal goal from the middle of the ice. Habs defenseman Doug Harvey tried to gain control of the wobbly puck with his glove but instead redirected it past Montreal goalie Jerry McNeil. The repeat of the series the season after was closely contested, as all of the games were won by the home team, with Detroit taking the seventh game. Montreal was sorely lacking its all-star Maurice Richard, who was suspended after hitting a linesman during the regular season, and the Red Wings stars carried their team, as Lindsay scored four goals in a single game and Howe scored 20 points during the playoffs, 12 of which during the finals, all new records in the league. The 1954-55 season ended a run of seven straight regular season titles, an NHL record. During the 1955 offseason, Marguerite Norris lost an intra-family power struggle, and was forced to turn over the Red Wings to her younger brother Bruce. Detroit and Montreal once again met, in the 1956 Stanley Cup Finals, but this time the Canadians won the Stanley Cup, their first of five in a row. In 1957, Lindsay who had scored 30 goals and led the league in assists with 55, teamed up with Harvey to help start the National Hockey League Players Association, NLPA. As a result, he and goaltender Glenn Hall were promptly traded to Chicago. In 1959, the Red Wings missed the playoffs for the first time in 21 years. However, within a couple of years, the franchise was able to rejuvenate itself. The Red Wings made the finals in four of the next six years between 1961 and 1966. 
however, they came away empty-handed. Only a year after making the finals, the Red Wings finished a distant fifth, 24 points out of the playoffs. It was the beginning of a slump that they would not emerge from in almost 20 years. This period is derisively known as the Dead Wings era. One factor in the Red Wings' decline was the end of the old development system. Another factor was Ned Harkness, who was hired as coach in 1970 and was promoted to general manager midway through the season. A successful college hockey coach, Harkness tried to force his two-way style of play on a veteran Red Wings team resistant to change. They chafed under his rule in which he demanded short hair and no smoking, and put other rules in place regarding drinking on phone calls. Harkness was forced to resign in 1974, ending the period colloquially referred to as darkness with Harkness. In the expansion season of 1967-68, the Red Wings acquired longtime star left winger Frank Mahovlik from the defending cup champions in Toronto. Mahovlik would go on a line with Howe and Del Vecchio, and in 1968-69, he scored a career-high 49 goals and had two all-star seasons in Detroit. But this did not last. Mahovlik was traded to Montreal in 1971, and Howe retired after the 1970-71 season. Throughout the decade, the Red Wings were hampered due to a number of factors. During the 1979-80 season, the Red Wings left the Olympia for Joe Louis Arena. In 1982, after 50 years of family ownership, Bruce Norris sold the Red Wings to Michael Yeach, founder of Little Caesars. In 1983, the Red Wings drafted Steve Iserman, a center from the Peterborough Peets, with their first-round pick. He led the team in scoring in his rookie year. That season, with John Ogrodnik, Ivan Boldyrev, Ron Duguay, and Brad Park, Detroit made the playoffs for the first time in six years. Park ended up winning the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy. Park was later asked to coach the Red Wings, only to be sacked after just 45 games in 1985-86. They did end up in last place with a 17-57-6 record for only 40 points. This was the same year that the Red Wings added enforcer Bob Probert, one of the most familiar faces of the team in the 1980s and 1990s. In the 1986-87 season, with Iserman, now the captain following the departure of Danny Gare, joined by Petter Klima, Adam Oates, Gerard Gallant, defenseman Darren Beach and new head coach Jacques Demers, the Red Wings won a playoff series for only the second time in the modern era. They made it all the way to the conference finals against the powerful Edmonton Oilers, but lost to the eventual Stanley Cup champions in five games. In 1988, they won their first division title in 23 years. They did so, however, in a relatively weak division, as no other team in the Norris finished above .500. As was the case in the previous season, they made it to the conference finals only to lose again to the eventual Stanley Cup champion Oilers in five games. In 1989, Iserman scored a career-best 65 goals, but Detroit was upset in the first round by the Chicago Blackhawks. The following season, Iserman scored 62 goals, but the team missed the playoffs. After the season, Demers was fired and was replaced by Brian Murray as the new head coach. Murray was unable to get them back over .500 but they returned to the playoffs. Iserman was joined by Sergei Fedorov, who would be an award winner and frequent all-star for the team in the 1990s. In 1991, the team signed free agent Ray Shepard, who would score a career-best 52 goals three years later. In 1993, the Red Wings acquired top defenseman Paul Coffey. Also joining the Red Wings around this time were draft picks Vladimir Konstantinov, Nicholas Liedstrom, Vyacheslav Kozlov, Darren McCarty and Chris Osgood. In 1993, former Montreal Canadiens coach Scotty Bowman was hired as the new head coach. In his second season, the lockout shortened 1994-95 NHL season, Bowman guided Detroit to its first finals appearance in 29 years, only to be swept by the New Jersey Devils. During the 1995-96 season, they won an NHL record 62 games. After defeating the St. Louis Blues in seven games, the Red Wings would fall in the Western Conference Finals to the eventual Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche. The following season, the Red Wings acquired Brendan Shanahan and Larry Murphy. In the playoffs, they would defeat the St. Louis Blues, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim and the Avalanche in the first three rounds. In the finals, the Red Wings swept the Philadelphia Flyers. It was their first Stanley Cup since 1955, breaking the longest drought, 42 years long, in the league at that time. Mike Vernon was awarded the Connecticut Smythe Trophy.
Misfortune befell the Red Wings six days after their championship. Defenseman Vladimir Konstantinov, one of the members of the Russian Five, suffered a brain injury in a limousine accident, and his career came to an abrupt end. As a result, the team dedicated the 1997-98 season to him. The Red Wings won the Stanley Cup in four games, this time over the Washington Capitals, and Konstantinov was brought onto the ice in his wheelchair so he could touch it. The following season, the Red Wings appeared to be poised to win a third consecutive Stanley Cup when they acquired three-time top blue liner Chris Kelius from his hometown Chicago Blackhawks in March 1999. Also acquired at the trade deadline were defenseman Alf Samuelson, winger Wendell Clark, and goaltender Bill Ranford. Despite high aspirations, however, Detroit would end up losing in the Western Conference semifinals to Colorado in six games. In 2000, the Red Wings would finish second in the Central Division. Just like the previous season, however, they would lose to the Avalanche in the Western Conference semifinals. In 2001, Detroit, the NHL's second best team in the regular season, were upset in the playoffs by the Los Angeles Kings. During the ensuing offseason, the team acquired goaltender Dominic Hasek, the defending Bezina Trophy winner, and forwards Luke Robitaille and Brett Hull. Russian prospect Pavel Datsuk also joined the team. Strengthened by the additions, the Red Wings posted the league's best record in the 2001-02 regular season and defeated Colorado in seven games in the Western Conference Finals after beating the Vancouver Canucks and St. Louis Blues in rounds 1 and 2. The Red Wings then went on to capture another Stanley Cup, in five games, over the Carolina Hurricanes, with Nicholas Leedstrom winning the Connecticut Smythe Trophy as the playoffs MVP. Bowman and Hoshek both retired after the season. The offseason saw the Red Wings promote associate coach Dave Lewis to the head coach position after Bowman's retirement. In the market for a new starting goaltender after Hoshek's retirement, they signed Curtis Joseph from the Toronto Maple Leafs to a three year, $24 million deal. Also new to the lineup was highly touted Swedish prospect Henrik Setterberry. The Red Wings finished the season second in the Western Conference, which pitted them in the 2003 playoffs against the seventh seeded Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. The Mighty Ducks shocked the hockey world when they swept Red Wings in four games en route to a finals appearance. In the offseason, longtime Red Wing Fedorov signed with the Mighty Ducks as a free agent. Additionally, Hoshek opted to come out of retirement and join the Red Wings for the 2003-04 season. Joseph, despite being one of the highest paid players in the NHL, spent part of the season in the minor leagues. Hoshek himself would be sidelined with a groin injury. Notwithstanding, the Red Wings would finish atop of the Central Division and the NHL standings. The Red Wings eliminated the Nashville Predators in six games in the first round of the 2004 playoffs, which led to a second round matchup with the Calgary Flames. The teams split the first four games, and headed to Detroit for a pivotal Game 5, which the Red Wings lost 1 0. They were then eliminated two nights later in Calgary by the same score, in overtime. The Red Wings did not play in the 2004-05 season due to the lockout, which canceled the entire NHL season. On July 15, 2005, Mike Babcock, former head coach in Anaheim, became the new head coach for the Red Wings. On November 21, 2005, defenseman Yuri Fisher went into cardiac arrest and collapsed on the bench during a game against the Nashville Predators. The game was canceled because of his injury and was mad up on January 23, 2006. This was the first time in NHL history a game had been postponed due to an injury. While the game was played for the full 60 minutes, the Predators were allowed to maintain their 1-0 lead from the original game and won 3-2. The Red Wings won the President's Trophy with a 58-16-8 record, earning them 124 points and secured home ice advantage for the entire playoffs. They opened the 2006 playoffs against the Edmonton Oilers with a 3-2 overtime victory at Joe Louis Arena but the Oilers won four of the next five games to take the series. Continuing the shakeup of the Red Wings roster, the offseason saw the departure of Brendan Shanahan, the return of Dominic Hasek and the retirement of Steve Iserman. Iserman retired with the additional distinction of having been the longest-serving team captain in NHL history. The Red Wings opened the 2006-07 season with Nicholas Leedstrom as the new captain. The team retired Iserman's jersey number 19 on January 2. 2007. The Red Wings finished first in the Western Conference and tied for first in the NHL with the Buffalo Sabres, but the Sabres were awarded the President's Trophy because they had more wins. 
Detroit advanced to the third round of the 2007 playoffs after defeating Calgary and the San Jose Sharks both in six games, coming back to win three straight after the Sharks had a 2-1 series lead. The Red Wings would then lose to the eventual Stanley Cup champion Anaheim Ducks in the Western Conference Finals in six games. To start the 2007-08 campaign, Sutterbury recorded at least a point in each of Detroit's first 17 games, setting a club record. The Wings cruised to the playoffs, where they faced the Nashville Predators. After goaltender Dominic Hoshek played poorly in games 3 and 4 of the series, both losses, head coach Mike Babcock replaced him with Chris Osgood. Osgood never left the net for the remainder of the playoffs, as the Red Wings came back in that series on their way to winning their 11th Stanley Cup. The final victory came in Game 6 on June 4, 2008, against the Pittsburgh Penguins, 3-2. This was the Red Wings' fourth Stanley Cup in 11 years. Satterbury scored the winning goal in the decisive game, and was also named the winner of the Conn Smythe Trophy as the most valuable player of the playoffs. It was the first time a team captained by a non-North American player, Leedstrom, won the Stanley Cup. On July 2, 2008, the Red Wings announced the signing of Marion Hossa. On January 1, 2009, the Red Wings played the Chicago Blackhawks in the second in the Winter Classic at Chicago's Wrigley Field, defeating them 6-4. Although they finished second in the conference to the San Jose Sharks, the Wings became the first team in NHL history to top 100 points in nine straight seasons. In the playoffs, the Red Wings swept the Columbus Blue Jackets, then defeated the eight-seeded Anaheim Ducks in a hard-fought seven-game series. They took on the vastly improved Chicago Blackhawks in the conference finals, winning in five games. The Red Wings would face the Pittsburgh Penguins in the finals for a second consecutive year, but this series would feature a different outcome as the Penguins defeated the Red Wings in seven games. The Red Wings became only the second NHL team to lose the Stanley Cup at home in Game 7. The Red Wings began the 2009-10 NHL season in Stockholm losing both games to the St. Louis Blues 4-3 and 5-3 respectively. They were plagued by injuries throughout the season and lost the second most man games to injury, with only the last place Edmonton Oilers losing more. The beginning of the season was a struggle for the Red Wings, with key players out of the lineup, including Setterberry, Thomas Holmstrom, Johan Franzen, Valtteri Filppula, and Nicholas Cronwall. After the Olympic break, Detroit posted a record of 13-3-2 and earned 28 points, the most by any team in the NHL. This run helped them secure the fifth playoff seed in the Western Conference. Detroit won their first round playoff series over the Phoenix Coyotes in seven games. In the second round, they would be defeated by the San Jose Sharks in five games. A healthier Red Wings team finished the 2010-11 NHL season with a 47-25-10 record and 104 points to win the Central Division title. They once again faced the Phoenix Coyotes in the first round of the playoffs, this time sweeping them 4-0. The Red Wings then went go to face the Sharks in round two. After losing the first three games of the series, the Red Wings won three consecutive games to force a Game 7, becoming just the eighth team in history to accomplish the feat. The Red Wings lost Game 7 to the Sharks by a score of 3-2 and were eliminated. During the 2011 offseason, Red Wings defenseman Brian Rafalski retired. Detroit soon signed free agent defenseman Ian White to take his place. Longtime Red Wings Chris Osgood and Chris Draper also announced their retirement from hockey, with both soon taking positions within the club. Detroit signed goaltender Ty Conklin for his second tour of duty with the team. Tragedy struck the organization and the rest of the NHL upon the Lakamo di Fiaroslavo plane crash, which killed former Red Wings assistant coach Brad McCrimmon and defenseman Ruslan Salai, who had joined the KHL team during the summer. Stefan Liv, a former Red Wings goaltending prospect, was also among the fatalities. The Red Wings then added a patch to the left arm of their uniforms with the trio's initials. During the season, the Red Wings won an NHL record 23 consecutive home games. The Red Wings also made the NHL playoffs, extending their streak of 21 straight playoff appearances, as the fifth seed. They were defeated in five games by their opening round opponent, the Nashville Predators. On May 31, 2012, Nicholas Leedstrom retired. Setterberry was named successor to Leedstrom as team captain. On July 1, 2012, the first day of the NHL free agency period, the Red Wings signed Swiss forward Damian Bruner to a one year entry-level contract, for Jordan Tutu to a three-year, $5.7 million contract, and goaltender Jonas Gustafsson to a two-year, $3 million deal.
Bowl, the team won their final four games of the 2012-13 season to earn the seventh seed of the playoffs. The Red Wings' 3-0 victory over the Dallas Stars on April 27, 2013 preserved their streak of 22 consecutive playoff appearances. As the seventh seed in the 2013 playoffs, the Red Wings faced the second seed at Anaheim Ducks. They survived a fierce battle that included four overtime games, winning the series 4-3 after a 3-2 Game 7 victory in Anaheim. The next round pitted the Red Wings against the top-seeded Chicago Blackhawks. Despite jumping out to a 3-1 series lead, the Red Wings would ultimate Lillos to the eventual Stanley Cup champions in seven games. On July 5, 2013, the Red Wings signed longtime Ottawa Senators captain Daniel Alfredson to a one-year contract and longtime Florida Panthers Stephen Weiss to a five-year contract. In the 2013-14 season, the Red Wings moved to the Atlantic Division of the Eastern Conference as part of the NHL's realignment. On April 9, 2014, the Red Wings clinched their 23rd consecutive playoff appearance. They would be eliminated in the first round by the Boston Bruins. On April 9, 2015, the Red Wings clinched their 24th consecutive playoff appearance, thus extending their streak. The team was eliminated in the first round by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Petr Mrazek had earned the starting goaltender role from Jimmy Howard, and Cronwall was suspended for Game 7 as Tampa Bay erased a 3-2 deficit to win the series. Mike Babcock, concluding the final year of his contract, left the Red Wings to become the new head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jeff Blazil, head coach of the Red Wings' top minor league affiliate, the Grand Rapids Griffins, was named his successor on June 9. On April 9, 2016, despite the Red Wings losing 3-2 to the New York Rangers, the Ottawa Senators defeated the Boston Bruins 6-1 as the Red Wings narrowly made the playoffs and extended their streak to a 25th season. They would lose in the first round to the Lightning in five games. On February 10, 2017, club owner Michael Yeach died. The Red Wings' playoff appearance streak ended after 25 seasons in the 2016-17 season. The Red Wings won their last game at Joe Louis Arena 4-1 on April 9, 2017, against the New Jersey Devils. The Red Wings played their first regular season game at Little Caesars Arena on October 5, 2017 winning 4-2 over the Minnesota Wild. The Red Wings finished the 2017-18 season with a 30-39-13 record. They missed the playoffs for the second season in a row, marking the first time since the early 1980s the team missed the playoffs in consecutive years. The Red Wings jerseys, traditionally known in hockey as sweaters, have been more or less the same since the 1930s, a white or red base with red or white piping. The only significant changes have been the replacement of the word Detroit with a winged wheel logo in 1932, and vertical arch lettering fourth players' names and block letters in 1983. The Red Wings only wear the vertical arch letters in the regular season and playoffs, while using straight serif nameplates during the preseason. The Hockey News voted the Red Wings' winged wheel logo the second best in the league in 2008. The Red Wings like all NHL teams, updated their jerseys to the new standard for the 2007-08 NHL season. The Red Wings kept their design as close to original as possible, the exceptions being on the road, white, jersey, there was more red on the sleeves as the color panel began closer to the shoulder, and the letters of the captain and alternate captain swear a move to the right shoulder. When Adidas became the uniform outfitter starting with the 2017-18 season, the Red Wings kept the same basic look. The Red Wings have rarely used any alternate logos or uniforms since the trend became popular in the 1990s. The sole exceptions were select games of the 1991-92 season commemorating the league's 75th anniversary, and for a commemorative game on January 27, 1994 at Chicago Stadium. Those jerseys were based on the uniforms worn by the team, then the Detroit Cougars, in 1927-28. The throwbacks are primarily white with five red horizontal stripes on the body, the broadest middle stripe bearing Detroit in bold letters, and three red stripes on the sleeves. This jersey served as the basis for the uniforms worn by Wayne Gretzky's team of Nubla All-Stars, nicknamed the 99ers, for their exhibition tour in Europe during the 1994-95 NHL lockout. The Red Wings wore alternative retro jerseys for the 2009 NHL Winter Classic in Chicago. The jerseys were based on the uniforms worn by the Detroit Cougars during their inaugural season of 1926-27. These jerseys were white, with a single bold red stripe on the sleeves and chest, and a uniquely styled white Old English D centered on the chest stripe. 
These jerseys were also worn for their final 2009 regular season home game, again against the Chicago Blackhawks. The Red Wings again used an alternate jersey mimicking throwback jerseys for the 2014 NHL Winter Classic against the Toronto Maple Leafs at Michigan Stadium. The Red Wings wore a specially designed one time only jersey for their stadium series game in Denver against the Colorado Avalanche on February 27, 2016. The majority of this jersey was the traditional red decorated with a thick diagonal white stripe running from the player's right shoulder across the front towards the left hip. The bottom of each sleeve featured a thick white stripe from wrist to elbow. The crest on the front of the jersey was a stylized red D. The words Red Wings were printed in all capital letters on the left side of the collar, and the phrase EST. 1926 was printed inside the back of the collar. These jerseys featured the current Red Wings logo on the left shoulder cap. The names and numbers were printed larger than traditional NHL jerseys to increase the visibility and player identification for fans watching the game at Coors Field, a stadium traditionally used for Major League Baseball. The Red Wings unveiled a uniform patch on September 27, 2016 to honor Gordy Howe, who passed away on June 10, 2016. The patch was a depiction of Howe's jersey number 9, and was worn by the team above the logo on the front of the jersey on the left side of the chest for all 82 regular season games during the 2016-17 season. The Red Wings wore a specially designed one-time only jersey for the Centennial Classic in Toronto against the Toronto Maple Leafs on January 1, 2017. It was a white jersey that had four stripes on the arms. Three of the stripes were red, while the fourth was silver. On the silver stripes were the years the Red Wings won the Stanley Cup. The logo and numbers were outlined in silver. The Red Wings logo received significant media attention in August 2017 when it was discovered that a white supremacist group used a modified version of it, in which the wheels' spokes consisted of the occult SS symbol Black Sun. It was the aegis of their shields during the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Virginia. As a result, the Red Wings condemned the group for the usage of the logo and threatened legal action. The Legend of the Octopus is a sports tradition during Detroit Red Wings playoff games, in which an octopus is thrown onto the ice surface for good luck. During the playoffs, Joe Louis Arena was generally adorned with a giant octopus with red eyes, nicknamed Al after head ice manager Al Sobotka. The 1952 playoffs featured the start of the octopus throw. The owner of a local fish market, Peter Cusimano, threw one from the stands onto the ice. The eight legs are symbolic of the eight wins it took to win the Stanley Cup at the time. The Red Wings went on to sweep both of their opponents that year en route to a Stanley Cup championship. The NHL has, at various times, tried to eliminate this tradition but it continues to this day. Sabatka is the man responsible for removing the thrown creatures from the ice. He is known for swinging the tossed octopuses above his head when walking off the ice. On April 19, 2008, NHL Director of Hockey Operations Colin Campbell sent a memo to the Red Wings organization that forbade Zamboni drivers from cleaning up any octopuses thrown onto the ice. He said that violating the mandate would result in a $10,000 fine. Instead, it was to be the linesman who performed these duty. In an email to the Detroit Free Press, NHL spokesman Frank Brown justified the ban because matter flies off the octopus and gets on the ice when Sobotka does it. This ban was later loosened to allow for the octopus twirling to take place at the Zamboni entrance. Typically during the last minute or two of games that the Red Wings are winning, especially around the end of the season and during the playoffs, fans are known to start singing along to Journeys Don't Stop Believin'. The song is played over the PA system and continues until it is muted while the crowd sings the words born and raised in South Detroit, then the song resumes over the speakers in the arena. The Red Wings' flagship radio stations are Detroit's sister stations XCTM 1270 and WXYT FM 97.1. Games are carried on both stations unless there is a conflict with Detroit Tigers baseball. There are several affiliate stations throughout Michigan and southwestern Ontario. The Red Wings' exclusive local television rights are held by Fox Sports Detroit. Announcers, four members of the Red Wings organization have received the Foster Hewitt Memorial Award. Lynch called the first locally televised game at Olympia for the original WWJ-TV in 1949. He remained with the organization for 63 years, serving as director of publicity from 1975 to 1982 and was the public address announcer from 1982 until his death in 2012. From 2008 to 2012, a second PA announcer was added to work alongside him, first John Fawson, then Eric Franey.
Franny took over as the sole PA announcer following Lynch's death. This is a partial list of the last five seasons completed by the Detroit Red Wings. For the full season-by-season -season history, see List of Detroit Red Wings Seasons. Note, GP equals games played, W equals wins, L equals losses, T equals ties, OTL equals overtime losses, Row equals regulation plus OT wins, PTS equals points, GF equals goals for, GA equals goals against. The Detroit Red Wings acknowledge an affiliation with a number of inductees to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Red Wings inductees include 63 former players and 11 builders of the sport. The 11 individuals recognized as builders by the Hall of Fame includes former Red Wings executives, general managers, head coaches, and owners. In addition to players and builders, several broadcasters were also awarded the Foster Hewitt Memorial Award from the Hockey Hall of Fame. Bud Lynch, a radio play by play announcer, was the first Red Wings broadcaster to be awarded the Foster Hewitt Memorial Award. Lynch also served as Detroit's public address announcer from 1985 until his death in 2012. In addition to Lynch, Bruce Martin, Mickey Redmond, and Dave Strader have also won the award. The Red Wings have retired seven numbers. The first number the Red Wings retired was number nine in 1972 in honor of Gordie Howe, who played right wing for the team from 1946 to 1971. Howe won both the Art Ross Trophy and the Hart Memorial Trophy six times each and won the Stanley Cup as a Red Wing four times. In 2007, the Red Wings retired Steve Iserman's number 19. During Iserman's career, he won the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy, the Connecticut Smythe Trophy, the Frank J. Zalka Trophy, the Lester Patrick Trophy, and the Ted Lindsay Award. Iserman served as Detroit's captain for 19 seasons, an NHL record, and won the Stanley Cup three times as a player with the Red Wings. The most recent retired number is Nicholas Leedstrom's number 5, which was retired on March 6, 2014. Leedstrom won the James Norris Memorial Trophy seven times. The Connecticut Smythe Trophy once and the Stanley Cup four times during his career in Detroit. On October 11, 2018, it was announced the Red Wings would retire Red Kelly's number four on February 1, 2019. During Kelly's 13 year career with the Red Wings, he won four Stanley Cups, three Lady Bing trophies, and one Norris Trophy. The Red Wings have also made the number six of Larry Ori and the number 16 of Vladimir Konstantinov no longer available for issue. However, the numbers are not considered to be officially retired. Although Ori's number was retired in 1938 by James E. Norris, current team owners do not consider the number to be retired. Konstantinov's number has not been issued to any player since he was permanently disabled in a vehicle accident after the 1997 Stanley Cup Finals. Number 99 is also unavailable as it was retired by the league in honor of Wayne Gretzky. All the players who have served as team captain with the Detroit franchise. These players rank in the top 10 in franchise history in scoring as of the end of the 2017-18 season. Figures are updated after each completed NHL season. Note, POS equals position, GP equals games played, G equals goals, A equals assists, PTS equals points, PG equals points per game. These players rank in the top 10 in franchise history for wins as of the end of the 2017-18 season. Figures are updated after each completed NHL season. There is a four way tie for ninth place in postseason wins, resulting in 12 players listed in that table. Note GP equals games played, W equals wins, L equals losses, T equals ties, A equals overtime losses, SO equals shutouts, GAA equals goals against average, equals current Red Wings player. Footnotes Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.